Did you think that it was at all strange that I called you and invited you to the lecture? No, not at all. I mean, you knew I liked Milton Friedman. You had an extra ticket. It doesn't seem strange. That's not why I invited you. I didn't think so. <laughs> Alex, I'm not really in the habit of calling up high school guys and asking them out on dates, but when you were here yesterday delivering my groceries, I sensed something different, something uh, special about you. Maybe it was the way I individually wrapped your eggs. <laughs> there was more to it than that. I mean, I can't even believe that I'm here with you right now. I have to keep reminding myself that you're only 17. You seem to have come by so much so early. You must sense that about yourself, don't you? Not really. I don't think of myself oh, as... Oh, Alex, come on, admit it. You're really special. All right. I, I don't want to get in an argument about this. I think I know what you mean. It has a lot to do with my parents, you know? They've always encouraged me to think for myself, to be aware of things. And we disagree about a lot, but underneath it all, I know they think I'm okay. That's important. I think a good relationship with your parents helps you to form good relationships with others. That's true. I know this guy at school, Louis Hicks. His dad ran out on his family when he was 10, and I can tell by the way Louis acts that he deeply resents it. Either that or he just enjoys setting things on fire. <laughs> Do you have a lot of close friends at school? More than Louis. <laughs> she, you know, my, my friends at school, they're just kids. I'd feel real funny having a conversation like this with any of them. All they want to talk about are girls and, and baseball. You know, I know exactly what you mean. I couldn't have a conversation like this with most of the people I go to college with. People who are intelligent and sensitive are a very rare breed. I think that's why, despite our age difference, I find myself very attracted to you. <laughs> How about those Cleveland Indians? How about those Cleveland Indians? Alex? Yes? Do you want to spend the night here? No, that's OK. I live real close, 10 minutes. Away. That's not what I meant. I know. It's just that, you remember yesterday when I told you I'd never delivered groceries to anybody before? Yeah? That's not the only thing I've never done before. Well, you did pretty well with the groceries. 